Hi guys, I hope that you're very well. It's Silvana here and I am back for a new video on the Julie's and Jim's YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today we will be talking about dendritic agates. I'm going to show you how it looks like. We're going to talk about the meanings, properties, uses associated with dendritic agate, as well as the zodiac signs, the chakras and everything in between. So by the end of this video, you'll be an expert on all things dendritic agate. This is a beautiful specimen that comes from the agate family. There's so many different types of agates, actually, and this is just one of them. I'm just going to show you. I have some lovely pieces here so you can get a, a really good idea. So the dendritic agate will usually be white uh, with kind of grayish black uh, inclusions. And uh, there will be so many different ways the stone will show itself. So I, I'm, I'm going to show you different pieces so you will be able to see the varieties it comes in. It's impossible to find two pieces that look the same. The Dredic Agate is known as the stone of plenitude. So the plenitude, so the stone of plenty, the stone of prosperity, growth, abundance, uh, fullness, but fullness in all areas of life, really. And agate in general uh, will be all about promoting inner you know, stability, composure, uh, maturity. Uh, and it does hold quite protective, balancing properties usually that will encourage, for example, confidence, self-confidence, security, uh, self-acceptance as well. Um, it's not so much self-love, self-love goes more for other gemstones, but this one is going to be more specifically down to that idea of um, being safe and secure and confident in your own skin. I think that's more the energy here. So overall, dendritic agate would also be known, especially this, this particular type of agate. Dendritic agate, agate is an emotional stabilizer. What does that mean? It is said to encourage its wearer to uh, remain centered, grounded, uh, composed uh, during challenging times, during difficult moments, during uh, times of chaos, uh, confusion, for example, and to really be able to deal with uh, anything that might seem to be a challenge, anything that might seem to be uh, some kind of um, you know, roadblock or obstacle in front of you. So you can see here that's a ring and very different look again. Bit of transparency here. This section is white and this section here is black. So a lot going on. But overall, it's a stone that is all about um, support and the idea of resilience, uh, stamina, persistence in particular and uh, giving us the capacity to, um, you know, experience challenges and experience tough, chaotic times and moments, not so much as tough and chaotic and hard, but actually as times where we get to be tested, where we have to prove that we are open to receiving uh, the opportunities coming from those challenges, right? That's really what dendritic agate stands for and represents. So you can see here another piece. You can see how even though this is all the same stone, each of them looks pretty different and unique in its own way. And that is something that's really cool about uh, dendritic agate, which means that when you get your hands on it, the piece you will have will be really unique to you. And uh, yeah, I suppose um, it's, um, it's very similar, I guess, to uh, other types of agates such as tree agate or a moss agate. Um, tree agate will also have some kind of, uh, I'll show you another piece now, some kind of inclusions that somewhat will look like this piece of the intrudic agate in the sense that it will look like there's like veins or branches tree agate obviously it looks more like branches but they're green they're not black or gray they're literally white and green uh, then we have moss agate moss agate which looks more like uh, white with a bit of cloudy gr green in it i suppose again maybe a little bit more similar to the pendant we have here as regards to uh, more the, the inclusion work 
uh, but more green and white than gray and black and white. Apart from that, these stones, these types of agate will hold similar properties, I believe, in the sense that, um, you know, let's be honest, dendritic actually, um, you know, I believe in Greek means tree or tree-like. So you can really see that they're kind of all um, sister stones, we can say it like that, you know. And uh, like actually when we look at it um, even uh, deeper, you know, those types of agates with those green, um, green, yeah, I suppose for tree and moss agate, yeah, but more here for dendritic grays and blacks. Um, it's going to be more like fern inclusions. And what are these? It's basically iron and manganese. And these are actually called dendrites in gemology, I believe. It's like these types of inclusions, they're called dendrites, dendritic agate. You see where the name actually stems from now. Uh, if we're to talk about, uh, I suppose, the, the zodiac signs associated with it, I like to um, associate uh, dendritic agates more so to, um, to the roots because even though it's not completely black or dark as such, there is a, still a bit of white, but for me, it connects us really to that energy of, of the, the root chakra, which is all about stability, being grounded, being centered um, at all times, and really more so about being um, comfortable with, um, with the physical realm. And for me, the, that root chakra is also where, you know, there's that strong connection with, um, you know, I suppose really abundance, prosperity, wealth, plentitude, which is what we mentioned at the beginning as being key properties for this gemstone, stability, you know, um, being at peace with, um, with, the, with this, you know. And uh, if I was to say something else, it's that, um, you know, ancient Romans, for example, valued the agate for its, I suppose back then, uh, reputed talismanic and medicinal properties. You know, it was a stone that was believed to be very powerful, uh, agates in general. Um, and, uh, you know, like, for example, Pliny, if you're familiar with a little bit of Roman history, Pliny, the Roman historian himself, quoted the Magi as teaching uh, in Persia that storms uh, might be averted by burning agates. And I thought that this is so cool uh, as a beautiful, uh, beautiful ancient lore to share with you today. The other thing is that they used to believe that wearing agates uh, would be <laughs> a cure to amnesia or to help induce um, nicer, more pleasant dreams when you sleep. Again, I just think it's beautiful just to, you know, share that with you as to what um, mankind used to uh, work with when they would wear agate or, you know, what their beliefs were back then. Uh, again, absolutely stunning. I also love the fact that um, agate, uh, especially dendritic agate, actually is believed to honor um, the goddess Artemis, the Greek goddess of, of the hunt, which is, um, you know, uh, she, obviously she represents uh, the love of nature as well. Uh, she represents uh, that connection with, uh, with forest, with uh, mountains, with, uh, with nature in general, uh, where she was believed to spend a lot of time in. So definitely, if you're looking for a stone uh, that's very supportive, of that connection with the feminine because we do tend to associate, um, you know, goddesses like Artemis with the divine feminine. Definitely this is a great stone to work with you no matter your gender. This is just that divine feminine energy as in the polarity, not a gender. And uh, definitely great stone for women as well. So, you know, to really embody that, um, you know, inner, inner calm, it's that, you know, quiet strength that we associate as well with that, that divine feminine energy too. Uh, as regards to the zodiac signs that work best with um, dendritic agate, there's two that comes to my mind, even though everyone can wear it, go for it. But if you have your sun, moon or rising in Gemini or Virgo, you can really uh, get great uh, 
great value out of dendritic agate in the sense that first of all for uh, Gemini you know it's a great stone for um, you know I suppose that inner stability composure and maturity which is something that sometimes Gemini needs Gemini loves to be always in movement and sometimes having a little bit of their groundedness can really help them a lot and for Virgo in my opinion it's very much because it's a stone that's also about being calm and centered even in times of chaos and challenges and difficulties we all know how uh, Virgo sometimes can be some of the biggest warriors of the zodiac and uh, tend to be very very harsh and self-critical and sometimes working with the gemstone that's supporting them in knowing that you know it's going to be okay you know it's not a challenge it's an opportunity something good will come out of this it's a good reminder for them uh, so yeah that would be it one last thing i want also to mention is that if you have the dritic agate and you want to work with it and program it uh, one mantra or affirmation that i like to use when i work with the dritic agate would be the following one i am nourished by the earth and life itself this is dendritic agate in a nutshell i hope you guys enjoyed this video please let me know what you think about uh, dendritic agate if you have some yourself in your collection i'd love to know and uh, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it already that would be much appreciated and uh, thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one